Hey everyone, welcome back to the Spoiler Zone. Quick update before we start. Unfortunately, I can't add movie clips to my reviews right now. I know a lot of you are hoping for that, and trust me, I wish I could. But I'm still figuring out the technical stuff and copyright stuff. Thanks so much for your support, though. I'm working on improving the content, and I hope my reviews are still fun for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's get into today's review. Today, I've got a fun one to talk about. So, I just watched She's the Man, and honestly, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. You know that feeling when a movie surprises you with how funny and relatable it is? That's exactly what happened here. All right, let me set this up for you. The main character, Viola Hastings, is all about soccer. She's super passionate and really good, but her high school cuts the girls' soccer team. Total bummer, right? And the worst part? The boys' team won't let her join just because she's a girl. It's like, come on. So instead of just giving up, Viola comes up with this crazy idea. She's going to pretend to be her twin brother, Sebastian, and join the boys' team at another school, Illyria. Watching Amanda Vines, who plays Viola, try to act like a dude is honestly hilarious. I was cracking up at some of her lines and all the awkward situations she finds herself in. I mean, just imagine trying to keep that secret with your new roommate, who just happens to be Channing Tatum. Yep, this is one of his early movies, and he's playing Duke, the guy Viola's sharing a room with. And it's so funny because Duke is clueless about Viola's real identity. But... As you might guess, Viola starts crushing on him. And here's where things get messy. But here's the best part without giving too much away. There's this whole love triangle. Actually, it's more like a love square that gets totally tangled. Duke likes Olivia, another student at Illyria, but Olivia starts to like Viola, who she thinks is Sebastian. It's this whole confusing thing, and the way the movie handles it is actually genius. You're laughing, but you're also rooting for Viola the entire time. And while it's funny, She's the Man also has a great message about going after what you want, no matter what people think. Viola just wants to prove herself and show that girls can play just as well as guys. It feels really relevant, even today. There's this moment toward the end, I won't spoil it, but it's super satisfying to watch. Plus, the soccer scenes are actually pretty cool. I was surprised by how much I got into them, especially the final game. It's one of those scenes where you're on the edge of your seat, just hoping she pulls it off. So yeah, if you're in the mood for a feel-good, laugh-out-loud movie with some awesome early 2000s vibes, definitely check out She's the Man. I'd totally recommend it if you're looking for something light, fun, and surprisingly empowering. Let me know if you've seen it, or if you plan to watch it, down in the comments. And hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Spoiler Zone for more movie reviews. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out, and see you next time.